Hi there. I'm taking a walk, so this might be shaky, but I just wanted to share some thoughts. I have been watching a lot of news recently, as I'm sure a lot of you have. I feel like it's very easy to feel hopeless when you're paying attention to all of the kind of terrible stuff that's going on in the world. It can really wear you down and make you feel like there's not anything you can do to help. And I think a lot of times it's hard to believe that people are inherently good and that we're capable of compassion and love. But I think that when those thoughts are running through your head and you're just kind of staring at the news in shock and you're crying and you feel like everyone is evil. I think it's important to take a step back, remember that not everyone is evil. And for me sometimes that means going on to booktube and sometimes I feel kind of guilty when I get on booktube and I'm, I'm talking about fiction and escapism or fandoms that I'm in instead of fighting the good fight all the time. It makes me feel like I shouldn't allow myself to get distracted from what's going on and I, I shouldn't try to be happy almost. And that's ridiculous. I saw a really a puppy. I saw a really fantastic tweet today about this and I can't remember who tweeted it so I'll put a screenshot of it. But it just basically said that you can't bear the entire weight of the world on your shoulders all the time because no one person is meant to do that and it'll wear you down and make you sick if you try to take on all of the world's issues all on your own all the time and you have to give yourself a break every so often. That made me feel a lot better because I was personally feeling like taking a break and reading a book or not even just reading but taking a break and watching Netflix or sitting down in my backyard or taking a walk. I felt like those things weren't productive and I you know there are people out there suffering that I need to help but put your mind in a place that's pleasant every so often because if you try to sit in that negative headspace all the time it'll make you sick. Like I was saying earlier I feel like booktube is a really good place to go when you're feeling bogged down and all of the goings on around you because we're all uniting over something that we love and we're all from different parts of the world. I've only been on booktube for just a little little while but I've made so many friends from all over the world. I always feel better when I focus on the things that bring us together like the Olympics or booktube or music. If you're someone who's like me and you tend to just work yourself up into a lather, I think that it's you know it's important to vote and speak up and help people whenever you can. Um, but you don't have to be screaming at the top of your lungs all the time. I think that it's okay to take a minute to yourself and read a book or take a walk and listen to BTS or make a booktube video and talk to all of the new friends that you've made. I feel like if we can just continue to do that and continue to be kind to one another and make friends and talk about the things that bring us together like books and we remember that we have more in common than we do differences then things will be okay so i know that this was a shaky video with bad audio because i'm on my phone again and i'm panting because you know your girl's out of shape sorry there were people and i got shy um when i get on booktube i feel a sense of togetherness and positivity and I think that it's important for us to cultivate that together. I hope that you're all having a wonderful day and remember to stay hydrated and get lots of sleep and smile at people 
and I love you all very much. And I will see you all again very soon with a new video, but until then, happy reading. Sweet.